Hi, I'm Kyler, and we're going to be discussing Unit 9.38 Tire Pressure Check. Beads. Beads are, are used on the inside of the tire for your drive to be safer, and they offer a clean, trouble-free alternative to lead weight balancing. Beads also increase tire life, fuel economy, and they also reduce vibrational damage. Body plies are a part of the tire which provides strength to contain inflation pressure. Um, body plies are usually made up of polyester, ram, or nylon cords with a rubber layer. Tire tread. The tread is the pattern of rubber which acts as a cushion between the vehicle and the road. Tread helps your vehicle have more grip on the road as well as helping the vehicle accelerate smoothly. Sidewalls. The sidewall is the smooth vertical area on the side of the tire between the edge of the tread and the bead of the tire, which does not include any area where tread grooves are still visible. Belts. Tire belts are steel cord which, keep, which help keep the tire's shape. Belts are in the inside and provide tire strength. Most tire manufacturers don't make their own belts, but they get them from an outside vendor. Liners are thin strips of plastic that fit between the tire and the tube. The purpose of a tire liner is to reduce chances of puncture flats. How to tell if your tread wear is critical? You can tell when your tread wear is critical when the tread is worn down to the um, to the tread bars, the small bars. There are small bars in between the tread that indicates when your wear is critical. Two safety checks to know when checking tire pressure. The first safety check you should know is not to look on the tire for the correct pressure, as that's the maximum pressure. The recommended pressure is usually on the sticker um, on the driver's side window. And secondly, you should never use an unreliable air, the air compressor, which means you should invest in a reliable one, which you probably should not go cheap on. Two, two things to note checking tire pressure. One thing you should note is to rest your tires for at least half an hour to make sure that they're cold and the readings are accurate. Another thing to note is that if you have to, have to fill your tires when they're hot, inflate them 3 to 4 psi above the recommended psi, and check again when your gauge, and check your gauge again when they're cold. Steps in checking tire pressure. First off, remove the cap, obviously, off of the air valve and the tire, on the tire, and then put it somewhere where you won't lose it. Secondly, press the tire gauge against the open valve stem for a second or two. Three, read the air pressure gauge. Four, three, 12 girls to the office. Please, three, 12 girls to the office. Apologies. Four, compare this number with the recommended pressure. And five, replace the tire's air valve cap. Replace the tire's air valve cap. How to know your tire pressure. As I said before, you obviously look on the sticker on the driver's side of the window, not the tire, because that is the maximum. And that was my presentation on how to check tire pressure. Thank you.